great love for this basketball team and this coaching staff. And it's wonderful to see so many of you here tonight. I'm really pleased to see you all, and especially pleased to see so many of our alumni uh, basketball players here from various years. As most of you know, we had a, the wonderful opportunity to travel to France this past summer. Never in my life did I think I would see the city of Paris, let alone walk through the Eiffel Tower, or say that I've stood of like 30 feet from the Mona Lisa. What a great opportunity for our program. Not only was it, was it a memorable team bonding and cultural experience for all of us, but what an amazing opportunity to be able to say that we played some of the best professional basketball teams in France. Our trip to France definitely helped us become a stronger team, both on and off the court. And we have all of you to thank for that. But if you traveled with us, you had an opportunity to get to know the truly outstanding women who play for the University of Hartford. I, these women, and you're going to have a chance to meet them, clearly are selected by our head uh, coach, Jen Rosati. They are in the mold of the kind of young women that she knows will have success in every single part of their lives. And uh, that is our trademark. Uh, she would, so I got here and I thought it was a I thought it was going to be a surprise. I thought she wouldn't know. Come on. Four years. She knows everything. She knew it was happening. So uh, when I got the message from Sully asking me if I'd like to roast Coach Riz at Tippahawk, my first thought was, he's lost his mind. <laughs> They're actually going to give me a mic and allow me to make fun of her in front of a room full of her super fans. <laughs> so naturally, I accepted right away, and I called Mary Weaver immediately. So our first thought was, let's do a skit. That's going to be the best way so, to, to illustrate everything. So we started writing out all kinds of different scenes that involved me playing the part of Coach Riz. And then my accuracy when I tried to kick a cup full of water was terrible. So taking all of those issues into account, we thought it best that we just come up and speak individually. As hard as, uh, as, hard as we've all tried to forget last year, um, or at least the beginning. I'm sure everyone remembers how bad uh, we started. And uh, it was so bad that Manchester Honda decided to repossess Coach Riz's car. <laughs> And the number of times I made my mile, zero. And ladies, I got credit not to play, but listen, I played, so. <laughs> So it's just, uh, you know, it's pretty special for me to, to be up here and to, to hear these guys, you know, kind of semi-roast. I mean, it was a little weak, you know, you're supposed to be a little more mean. And I just want you to know, Katie never got her mom because she always hurt in preseason. She had some miraculous injury that kept her out of preseason. So she never had to run the mile or the shuttle because her, her hip hurt or her ankle was sprained, or I don't know, she had mono, or what else? Is there something else that you had that, that kept? And then all of a sudden, the first day we played, she was miraculously healed. So, but she was good, so she did play. So it's really important uh, to me to uh, have a chance to thank everybody, not just for tonight, but for um, years past and for future years of support. Um, you know, starting with Manchester Honda, they would never take my car away, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> right? <laughs>